All right, this is the February 26th core team meeting. And the first item on the agenda is the owner of the domain names. Pietro is thus resolved. I think so we I resolved talk, that as being Pietro. Yeah. Yeah, like I talked a bit with Nico after the meeting, and basically the consensus was that the situation is already bad, uh, so we are not making it worse. And like it's a pre existing condition if, if the lawyers ask about it. I have a... I actually talked uh, to to Mozilla Legal about it too. And uh, you're muted. Okay. Uh, oh, by, by the way, <laughs> Zoom didn't want to unmute there. Yeah, it was it was okay. And another thing is that uh, Gandhi actually asked us if you want to enable registry lock which basically means that changes to the domain name have to be approved. Like we have to call Gandhi in person to make changes like the owner of the domain or to transfer it to enhance the security. And they asked if we want to do those, at least for a stop to terrace. And like, uh, we can discuss it later. I don't think it's important, but uh, it may improve our security, but it will also be a bit of an ass. So that we can talk about it later. Okay, uh, next item is staged RFC, staged design, whatever we call it, Nico. Nico? No update. <laughs> Okay, next is legal issues, uh, Nico or Florian? Um, I don't have uh, Florian. Okay, we've, we um, thought about forming that uh, license interest group. I want to do this next week and then the coming weeks because then I have, I have some downtime. I can actually spend brain cycles on this. It seems good. Would this, I'm not sure, I think I missed this on discussion. Would this be a group to survey what we have, the current status, or a group to answer questions, or both? Um, the initial one would be the suggestion of, let's even find out who's, interesting talk, who's interested in talking licensing in our project. So very, very small bar, who is even interested in talking what the license file says and how it relates to our code and making sure this is clean and who actually cares about the problem um, instead of making this a discussion group. Um, does that make okay. sense? Um, Probably, yeah. yeah. And make sure that those people have a space where they can chat without going through core team or live team or whatever, but they have the, the one space where they can discuss licensing issues and then figure is, out what that topic will be. The scope is not, like, I, I'm not, maybe I'm just not aware, but we're not planning like any major change to the license, right? No, 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 not at all. Um, so we have found a couple of, of uh, license issues that need to be remedied where we probably have to do something. It currently isn't um, uh, super, super critical, but um, we need to move towards something where we make sure that our licensing is sound and stays sound. We don't want to change it. We just make to, want to make sure that our house is in order. So I think that can be said as a mission. Like these are the people who are interested in it. In, like, I want to get the people into a room that are interested in making sure that our house is in order in terms of licensing. I don't want to make any kind of big changes and actually go down the checklist of things that we find that may not be completely sound and check that off. Nothing more. Um, and that's also why I want to, to have it as a place where we can actually buy, not bypass the individual teams, but um, I, I think a lot of these things can be, um, are not decisions. It's figuring something out and then, uh, uh, and then fixing it. And at the end of this, we might propose a decision like, or if there's any major thing where we need to decide on. But first of all, because licensing tends to be the subject where a lot of people talk about a lot, um, I want, or 
just get aggravated by it, but don't really want to do anything. I want to get um, get the people together that care on the level of, I, I actually want to, I'm actually interested in figuring out all the problems and fixing them one by one, that kind of mode. No changes, no, like, no real project policy, except um, for example, the policy, like what is the document that we put into people's hands to God, is this a pull request that fulfills the licensing? Can we accept that library or something as a support? thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next item is white papers. Anyone have any update? Uh, Florian and I talked last week and I've edited the Tyco V white paper a little bit and have a little bit more work to go, but that's um, that's work in progress for us both now. That's okay. Like. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, the next item is the roadmap. I think we are all done with roadmap stuff. Is that? I remember seeing the past year's uh, blog post about when after we made the roadmap, but uh, I don't know if we want to do it this year, and if anyone has the time to do it. That's a good point. I'm. I probably should think about it, but <laughs> I don't know. I. I don't really want to volunteer at the moment. <laughs> One thing I would say is I've been talking a lot to like to Felix a little bit yesterday and so on about a compiler team roadmap, um, trying to drill a little more there and get, maybe there's, maybe we should just leave it as a question mark for now. That might, it might be helpful if we had a little more from other teams too, to pull in there. I don't know, but we could certainly write one based on what's what we published. Okay, I will leave this on and we will see how we feel about it. Um, Ross survey, Nico. So I made an outline. That, uh, I don't recall if I had linked to it before, but I mean, there it's there. Um, and I had hoped that today I would try to flush that outline into a blog post. Oh, did you all hear that? My screen was frozen, but um, I'd hoped to flush that into an actual post, uh, but that hasn't happened. I might try to find someone else who wants to do that. <laughs> um, it's just because I feel like it's gonna, I'm moving slow, but um, that's where we're at. Okay. Um, next item is governance working group, Nico. Uh, I don't think we're, I'm a little out, a little behind. I don't think there's been any major updates in okay. the meeting tomorrow. Um, I know one thing that's maybe worth mentioning is that uh, Aaron was going through the list of um, folks who have R plus rights, but aren't really associated with any team and trying to kind of slowly change that so that we don't have just like an ad hoc list of people with not just R plus, but like right to right access to the repo. Um, a lot of the people on that list were pretty dated in any case, but not all. So you may have gotten some emails and, and so forth. She's been trying to bring that under control. Okay, uh, the next item is the announcement that Pietro is on core. Um, I will ping Aiden about that again. Um, the next item is the web presence Sorry, umbrella Carol. team. Oh, uh, yeah? Just um, about, can, could we just have a quick paragraph and throw it up on the blog? Like, it seems to be taking forever for what should be a, like, Tiny are minor. you volunteering to do it? 
We typically uh, do an internals post for core team announcements as well, so it should be low. Sorry? We typically also just do an internals post, so I don't think we need to like wait for like writing a good blog post or anything. Yeah, I think we we just didn't have the insider inside Rust blog before. Ah. Um, but I think it could be a short. It, it only needs to be like yeah. a paragraph. And yes, I can write it. <laughs> I agree. It doesn't need to be a a work of art. I also <laughs> agree. The inside Rust blog post is good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'll um I'll put something together today. Okay. Great, thank you. Uh, next item is the web presence team, uh, Pietro. Okay, so I created um, a channel on Discord to with the leads uh, to talk about it a bit. And uh, I plan to follow up, but then we had the issue with the one point with the pointer release and I got sick, so I hope to follow up soon. Okay. Um, do we need to keep checking in on that or do you feel like you have a good direction there? Like, I think uh, we can stop checking it. Like, okay. Like until I get it set up, uh, we can stop checking in, uh, and uh, maybe if there is some uh, something else to talk about, we can add. I think it. we should, if if that's the case, we should just leave it in the agenda and just be like, nah, for like no updates for a while. I think that's like, like for infra, we had the uh, like high priority issue with like every meeting and the low priority issue with like every every the first meeting of every month. Uh, so like we could have that's like, fair. Uh, a checklist of stuff we care about, but not that much to care about every week. Okay. Um, the next item is a short announcement on Omniciu. Um, Omniciu. Um, okay. So, yeah, I should have put this in the announcement section. I just realized that. But basically, um, so this started off as discussions between Google and Mozilla on, we were already doing internationalization stuff in Rust, and um, we, we, we were like, we should collaborate. So there's this like giant C++ slash Java library out there that Unicode maintains called ICU that does all the internationalization stuff like it does pluralization all the good stuff and basically it's the only thing out there that does this but there are now a lot of rust crates that like do parts of this and google wants something modular we want something modular people want rust so we um people are working together and um what happened was uh unicode also got involved so now there's an official unicode project um whose main goal is to create a modular ICU, um, but there's a very good chance that it will be written in Rust. So I just want to like mention this. So Unicode is now on the Rust train. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> as, a, not, as, a, as a big ICU user. <laughs> it's not like 100% certain if the implementation language will be Rust. Um, it might also be a DSL that we compile to different languages. It will definitely be something that you can use from Rust because that's a hard requirement from for many of us. Um, but yeah, great, very cool. Okay, anything else for the public part of the meeting? Okay, 